Welcome everyone. This is another 10 minute IT jam. Today we've got Harry Guy. He's the regional manager across Asia Pacific for Logic Monitor, which is a US enterprise software vendor. Welcome Harry. Thanks for having me, Sean. Yeah, great to have you on board. This is a really short session, so let's crack into the first question. For an IT manager that hasn't worked with Logic Monitor before, what are your key products and offerings? Logic Monitor is a what we term as a, a leading provider of SaaS-based infrastructure performance monitoring software. Um, and, and really where we see ourselves as that second generation born in the cloud provider uh, who allow to monitor you know, the modern environment, which has moved on from that typical sort of legacy on-premise approach through into a very much a hybrid model. Um, so, you know, monitoring, needing to monitor not only networks and you know, on-premise technology, but also cloud and, and public cloud with, with the three kind of main vendors that have come from there. Um, so really that SaaS-based approach to monitor that hybrid environment, um, all, from, uh, all from Logic Monitor and that single platform. Mm, sounds like you've got ideal timing with everybody's instant move to the cloud recently. Absolutely, we've seen a, uh, a you know, obviously a huge take up on Zoom and uh, platforms like Slack. So, you know, we were able to um, deliver uh, Zoom monitoring within a two week window uh, when it obviously became, it was uh, mission critical for organizations um, and, uh, you know, roll that out as part of our, our, our product set. So, um, you know, that's the power of being a SaaS provider is being able to, um, to, to adapt and, and change to uh, the changing landscape. Awesome. Actually, what size of organization are you guys and where are you based? So headquarters is, is Santa Barbara, California, but our kind of main hub in, from a global uh, perspective is Austin, Texas. Uh, we're now uh, north of 600 people. Uh, you know, I've seen big growth in our um, you know, engineering uh, center of excellence in uh, Pune, India. And our, our APAC uh, kind of regional hub is uh, Sydney, Australia. Okay, awesome. And um, on, uh, I understand the sort of cloud monitoring is the main focus. And uh, what are the most recent improvements in your products? Like what recent things have you announced? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I, looking back over the sort of past six to 12 months, there's two things I can really sort of focus on that, that, that stick out for me in terms of, uh, you know, pretty significant changes. First off was our uh, first um, development into you know, the, the buzzword that is AI ops. Um, but for us, that was actually, a, you know, a, a pretty significant change. So we brought out a number of, uh, number of key features within that, what we call our early warning system. So this isn't AI ops completed. This is very much stage one, version one, but it's all around anomaly detection um, and, and really understanding the anomalies within, um, you know, within the environment that, that may sit within an alert threshold but maybe very much out of kilter with, with you know, what's been going on. And ultimately you want your engineers alerted to that so they can really understand that and, and knowledgeable. Um, secondly is around our, our dynamic threshold. So traditionally within a monitoring is you have a set alert, you know, set alert threshold and if it hits that, it will raise an alert. However, using logic monitor and, and we uh, stored uh, two years of granular data, it's being able to understand your monitoring performance and actually trend and, and, and create a, a dynamic threshold. So at certain times of the day or at certain days of the week or the month, you may actually, it might be normal to have a, a larger or higher threshold. Um, so really a, enabling kind of that as well. So that, that's our first step in, as we say, our early warning system and, and AOPS. And secondly, it's, it's literally gone out last week. It was what we call our LM exchange. Um, so this is around uh, our, what we call our data sources, which is our kind of pre-built monitoring sets creating that in pretty much kind of an app store environment. So being able to kind of um, uh, intuitively search within that uh, a type of technology, if you were gonna say you know, Cisco or in, it will bring up the Cisco data source and you can get much more granular, of course. Um, but that's pretty game changing for us. Um, before it was really powerful, but you know, it would take a little bit kind of longer or a little bit more roundabout to kind of apply those data sources. Now we're kind of really providing kind of forward thinking approach to that. So we can flag to people if there's actually ones that they don't necessarily know about, which would be great. Sounds good. Saving time and, and money is always what a CIO wants to hear. Absolutely. And um, what, what about looking forward a bit, um, the, the trends that your product uh, development teams are focused on? Um, what, what have you got in the pipeline? Yeah, so I think there's, there's again, there's a couple of things. Firstly is to develop and improve on that, that AI ops capability. So, you know, we're, our product engineering team are very much aware that, you know, 
release one was you know very much that uh, and there's a long way to go on that so um, we have uh, second half of the year we have our, our, our version two of the AARP's early warning system coming out um, but then also secondly is around our kind of our key product mantras which is see more know more and do more um, and really around the do more processes with regards to um, our ability to integrate with service now so we already have a, a two-way integration to service now which is um, you know, alert to ticket um, integration but also CMDB um, however from a CMDB perspective we're we're creating a, a version two of that uh, in the second half of the year uh, because you know leading organizations enterprises you know service providers are really moving to, to service now that's what we see and um, being able to make their lives a lot easier and and integrate even uh, even even more deeply is, a, is, a, is an important thing for them interesting it sounds like you guys are really maturing your products and, and sort of reaching that next level and what what sort of infrastructure do you have in the Australia New Zealand marketplace that can help customers or partners so I think our kind of journey here in, in, in the ANZ market in particular um, is, as I said, it's about 18 months old. I, I came out here 18 months ago um, in a suitcase and uh, not much else and, and kind of just started, you know, getting getting some some momentum going. Um, uh, kind of uh, uh, our first kind of major sort of step was was getting the office and our first kind of local, local hires and team on board uh in june last year so we've now been as a sort of a full entity team uh, in, in operation for a year and we're now uh, just shy of 20 people uh and that covers uh, you know sales and, and account management um but also technical uh, pre-sales and customer success is also run from this area as well as professional services and, and implementation so it's that full kind of life cycle as a customer we haven't just plonked a a couple of sales reps and um you know and, and that's all we've got we've we've invested it's it's uh it's not a cheap um operation but you know we believe you've got to be close to your customers and your partners and uh and, and fundamentally that's what we're doing we believe that will lead to um to greater success for for our customers and our partners and um a much more kind of um you know enjoyable and uh, efficient experience wow i'm really impressed 20 people in 18 months that's that's really good going well done <laughs> Yeah, a lot um, of interviewing. Yeah, and, and um, finally, and the most important thing is if someone wants to engage with Logic Monitor, what is the easiest way? Say it's a partner or say it's an enterprise end user. How should they do yes. it? So, you know, always happy for people to, to contact me personally via LinkedIn uh, or, or one of the team. Uh, alternatively, you know, just go via the uh, logicmonitor.com uh, website. Uh, you can engage one of the team there and, uh, you know, we'll be in touch whether you're a uh, you know, an enterprise and some IT operation or a, uh, or a, you know, a service provider, IT service provider. Sounds great. Uh, today we've had Harry Guy, the regional manager across Asia Pacific for Logic Monitor. Thanks for your time, Harry. Thanks, Sean. Take care. All the best.